Well, heading west on I-40 to Weatherford next, Southwestern Oklahoma State University is now housing thousands of archives from General Thomas P. Stafford. The 91-year-old is not only an Oklahoma native and legend, but he's known around the world for his flight to orbit the moon. Nearly 50 years later, his personal mementos are on display. News Force's Caitlin Ogle has more. You gotta work hard and be a little lucky. Astronaut and Oklahoman General Thomas P. Stafford sharing his wealth of knowledge at the Southwestern Oklahoma State University Library. The Weatherford Natives Archives creating an atmosphere of inspiration. There's so much stuff here, I haven't seen a lot of it in years. The documents filling up 162 boxes containing the 91-year-old's personal binders, reports, letters, and pictures. Some have been locked away in storage and never seen before. It makes you nervous because these things are priceless. The former Air Force fighter and test pilot is famous for commanding the joint U.S.-Soviet venture, kicking off an era of international cooperation in space. You may remember this famous handshake from 1975 with Soviet commander and cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, leading to a lifelong friendship. When we opened hatch in space, we were opening back on the Earth, a era in the history of man. He's also one of just 24 people who have flown to the moon. General Stafford was the first to fly a lunar module into moon's orbit, just nine miles from the moon's surface. In fact, he's the first NASA astronaut to ever become a general and the first general to fly in space. We accomplished so much in such a short period of time. If you don't work, it's a sin. Literally, the, he's taught us all and the students that benefit from this that the moon's the limit, the sky's the limit. Now, the general's knowledge, teachings, and wisdom accessible to everyone. He has given us inspiration. It's given us pride. It's given us synergy. Be inquisitive. Be inquisitive. Always think of things. Study hard and do good in mathematics, which is the foundation of all science. Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Uh, the general, quite the Oklahoman. The archives are on display at the Al Harris Library at the Swazoo campus in Weatherford.